it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I am so happy to be playing today. I think we are going to do Pharos or maybe some assignments, side quests, because I think we have a lot of things like UNC, which I'm not sure. I need to check again in my journal, but we have a lot of assignments like all over the place so we could do some of those i guess and um yeah I'm, I'm not sure i'm not sure we'll see but last episode we we found uh matriarch uh benazia liara's mother uh, and and she died she passed away i think and we also freed the rachni queen uh, I don't know if that was a good choice or not, but it felt like the, the the right choice at that moment. So we'll see. But yeah, basically we did Novaria and it was insane. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. And I was quite shocked and the plot thickens because somehow Saren is able to control with his mind or something. He had an influence over Benezia. Um, she, was, she thought she was strong enough, but... Uh, turns out that he was kind of like controlling her with the help of his ship, um, the Sovereign, I think it's called. Um, so it, it's very strange. I am still pondering about that. I don't know what's that about, but yeah, the, I'm just excited to see more. So let's jump into it. Let's go. Okay, so. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the oh. Citadel. Top priority clearance. Okay. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comrade. The council? Again? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Hmm? You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. Uh -huh. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Sure. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Vermai. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermai. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Okay. So we have a new... Okay. Okay, we have a new planet we can go to. All right, um, let me check my assignments. Newton system. Oh, we have a Novaria the smuggling. I forgot about that. Um, okay, that's across the galaxy. All right. Go to the embassy lounge on the presidium level. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, to tell her about her sister. Okay, we need to go back to the Citadel for that. Civil Turian outpost. Okay, that's all over. This is all over as well. Oh, I forgot to do that in the Citadel. Sparta system, really? Oh, speak to Kahoku. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that. 
Okay, so that's back to the citadel. They discover a strange transmission discussing some sort of biotic commune. The whole it seems armless with something. Find the commune and the Hawking Eta cluster. We could do that. There's also this. Okay, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot in the Hades Gamma cluster. Oh my god, we have so many things. I mean, we could we could start by <laughs> bottom and then go, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have points that I need to spend. Okay, so I think. And then advanced sabotage. I want hacking as well soon. Um, better radius is good. Advanced first aid is, is really good though. Okay. Codex, uh, let me see. Fifth, though now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every. Now they are not extinct, the actually. When the After the Thresher, thresher Maws, are that was crazy. Carnivores that spend that was so hard to kill. The Citadel. Citadels. Alright. Pharos. Vermeer. Vermeer is a lush world located oh. on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. That's nice. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various okay, criminal gangs base. and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. All fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. Uh -huh. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. Pharos is a habitable world in the Attican Beta Cluster. Two thirds of the habitable the ruins surface of is covered with the ruins stuff. of a crumbling <laughs> Prothean megatropolis. In the millennia since the Prothean extinction, the ruins have been repeatedly picked over by looters many times. Pharos was considered a poor prospect for cult. Faster than light drives use element zero cores to reduce the mass of the ship, allowing higher. Oh, we rate. have Sovereign. Look at that. Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue Spectre's Saren. An enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship in any known fleet, it is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, Jesus. its spinal mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating another Look dreadnought's kinetic at... barriers with a single shot. It looks, How Saren it looks, acquired this incredible I've said warship this multiple times. is unknown. The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth See? construct, while no, others it's believe not. it is a Prothean relic. Its design, Mother however, Benicia. hints at a more right? alien and mysterious origin. Exactly. The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate massive I'm sorry, yeah, fields so many things powerful to say. <laughs> enough to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. It's a weapon of mass destruction? What the hell? Okay, first of all... I've said this a thousand times, but it looks it it does remind me of the aliens in Arrival, the Arrival, the movie by um, Denis Villeneuve. Um, if you guys have seen, it's such a good movie. But uh, it it does look like the bottom of those um, aliens. Even the first time that I saw, it's like, oh my god, it looks like that, right? Um, so that's one thing. Uh, but they say. Uh, prevailing opinion is that the Sovereign is a get construct. Mother Benizia said it wasn't. She said it is not a get construct, so that is wrong. Others believe it is a protein relic. Okay, that's possible. Maybe it's a protein relic more than a... a it is not a, from the get, so there's that. 
But I find it really interesting because see, its design, however, hints at a more alien and mysterious origin. Because the design is not Pro Prothean, right? Is what they mean? That's so interesting. That's so interesting. I have... I, I don't know. It's so weird and they don't know how Saren got it. It is a warship. It is a, a weapon of mass destruction. But like, was it found by the Prothean and then Saren found it back in a Prothean rune or something? Ah, the ship hell! The Mako infant ship mobility dominates space combat. The primary objective is to align the mass accelerator along the bow with the opposing vessel's broadside. Battles typically play out as artillery duels, fought at ranges measured in thousands of kilometers. Like, like with Though ships, I guess? assaults through defended mass relays often occur at knife fight ranges, as close as a few dozen kilometers. Holy Most ship-to-ship -ship engagements are skirmishes between patrol vessels of cruiser weight and below, with dreadnoughts and carriers only deployed in full-scale fleet actions. Battles in open space are short and often inconclusive, as the weaker opponent typically disengages. Once a ship enters FTL flight, the combat is effectively over. There are no sensors capable of tracking them or weapons capable of damaging them. The only way to guarantee an enemy will stand and fight is to attack a location they have a vested interest in, such as a settled world or a strategically important mass relay. The Normandy is a prototype starship developed by the Human Systems Alliance with the assistance of the Citadel Council. It is optimized for scouting and reconnaissance missions in unstable regions using state-of-the-art stealth technology. For most ships, the heat generated through standard operations is easily detectable against the absolute zero background of space. The Normandy, however, is able to temporarily sink this heat within the hull. Combined with refrigeration of the exterior hull, the ship can travel undetected for hours so cool. or drift passively for days of covert observation. This is not without risk. The stored heat must eventually be radiated or it will build to levels capable of cooking the crew alive. Another component of the stealth system is the Normandy's revolutionary Tantalus Drive. The dude a mass talked effect about us last twice episode. the standard size. The Tantalus Drive generates mass concentrations that the Normandy falls into, allowing it to move without the use of heat emitting thrusters. That's so cool. I wonder like for sure just just reading that space combat Ship. and everything larger like war. for sure Fair. we're gonna have a combat in space maybe later in this game or in the future games i don't know but like for sure maybe against this uh, sovereign which would be disastrous probably because it looks like a fucking mass destruction weapon like i said <laughs> but like if we can use the stealth of the Normandy, maybe we can like surprise Saren or something like he won't see us coming or something like that. I hope it comes back to the story later on. Biotics. When subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero or EZO emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless <laughs> ways. From generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. So EZO cool. is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Mm. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. That's... Element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, 
the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. Mm. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military so cool. makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies, with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Combat. Too cool for school. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. That was nice. I really love the codex, especially when it's read to you. Even though the voice is a bit weird with the the, the at the background, but it's it's all good. Wait. Um. Wait. Let me Commander, do. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. Hmm. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external Strange. systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. Hmm. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, so we have a new... Yet again... A new... Uh, point we went... Um, 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 I need to talk to Liera first and foremost. Also, I need to go to the garage. Um, to equip my people. Maybe we can talk about our mother. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. Oh. She brought it upon herself. Okay. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used mm. to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Mm. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. 
Your kind always seems so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. I mean, you fair enough. For anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. <laughs> you did? I know what you did during the Blitz. Girl? It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. <laughs> there is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. <laughs> what is you going on? Me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. Who? Who's that? <laughs> okay, then. Uh, uh, not at all. You're female, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, none of those choices are good. I literally <laughs> forgot his existence. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, could I have romance to Kaiden then? The lieutenant and I are just yeah. friends. Nothing more. <laughs> My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us? <laughs> Is there a mutual attraction? Yep. Was I wrong about that too? No, no. No. I'm no, screaming. I'm sorry. There is something between us. <laughs> I knew it. And I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel Wait, so Wait, can we make a baby with our minds? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. <laughs> Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. That is not the most romantic reason, is it? You make it all I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Can I go back? I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for oh, shit. This is all a bit overwhelming. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Place. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be. Here. No, 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 that that is not what I Thank meant. You, no, let's, let me load. Let's just talk about something else for now. No, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry that Goodbye, I didn't Shepard. think that's that's what she was gonna say. I didn't think that that was what she was gonna say. I thought she was gonna say, well, we have something in common. Uh-huh. I thought that... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait. I'm going crazy right now. Wait. Wait, where was I here? Now do I have all the... um? Okay, I'm gonna have the, uh, the special missions. Wait. Wait, uh, open! <laughs> Kaiden? I don't care about Kaiden. Why would she think there was something between us? I literally never took him on any mission. I kind of feel bad now. I, ne <laughs> I never take him with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lord. It's not serious. The lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. Okay. My mistake then. I'm sorry, but no, like we need to do this right. As I thought. But what about us, Shepard? <laughs> Is there a mutual attraction or Obviously. Was I wrong about that too? No. You were right. <laughs> there is something between us. 
I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Well, we have only known each other a short time. It doesn't have we are to. From two different species. We have almost nothing in common. It doesn't have to make this sense. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. Shit, I didn't think she would say the same thing. Don't tell me a little danger puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. Okay, okay. I'm not used to this. You. Okay, I'm sorry. I I thought I need some time. I okay, I thought I fucked Take it up, but I didn't. Me. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. I thought I fucked it up let's, with my with my let's bottom just talk choice. About something else for now. But but I didn't. I we're fine. Go. We're just taking Goodbye, we're just taking our time. <laughs> we're just taking our time. <coughs> I'm screaming. I'm screaming right now. Holy shit. I did not expect that. Kaiden, we could have been a thing. Did you know? I keep talking with him, but nothing happens. Commander, do you have a minute? Sure. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay to who knows where. But we can't get backup from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading. On the walls. I hear you. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I I, I, I talked to him multiple times. I could never I like romance him it or anything. Seems like a group that's been around as long as the council what the should see this coming. I mean, it's funny. We finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled, and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Zip <laughs> An old fashioned view. Um I had almost forgotten because I I know that in the Mass Effect series, like I said in the first episode, the two things that I know about Mass Effect is your playthrough carries over, so like I will still play this Shepard in the next game, right? And you can have romances, you can you can romance characters. But honestly, I had forgotten about it because there was I mean, I find a lot of people really pretty, like Tally for me is a, a big one and also Liara, but like uh there was no like option or anything. So I'm really surprised that like Kaiden? Really? Like I never <laughs> I never talk with him. I never <laughs> Literally. Oh, you're romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space. <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or you know, for justice. Maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all Dan is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our <laughs> abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of a hundred, maybe sixty have no effect. Thirty suffer adverse effects. Little things like brain cancer. <laughs> the other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Jump zero is Gagarin station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock outer edge of the solar system. 
It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to get physical, then? Huh? You know of any intentional <laughs> exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero's a long way from home. What was it like? The Grand Gateway to Humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, <laughs> not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I to know my crew. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. Although I never I bring you <laughs> on any missions ever. Do you, uh, <laughs> make a habit of getting this personal with everyone. No, just you. What do you think? To some degree. Of course, but I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll uh, I'll need. Some oh, time I didn't to mean to. That, you know? No. But yeah, I'd like that. Oh. No! Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no! Anything you need, Commander? No! We'll talk later, Caden. Oh, that's not what I meant! No, 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 no! Ah, uh, Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are there romance options opening up now? Like, what is going on? Garrus, you're interested? <laughs> Commander. Okay, on. no, nothing. I gotta go. Commander. <laughs> okay, let me, um... Let me upgrade all my people. So... Oh. We've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good. But I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Was it the Sovereign? A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him. So I got the oh. hell out. Okay. Didn't even wait to get paid. Interesting. Whose ship was it? <clears throat> it was a Volus Oh, a Volus trading? Vessel. Okay. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. 
didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead oh. within a week. Okay. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Oh, maybe there was another. Hmm. Shit. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Is this duty related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, <gasps> Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're no, fighting you're just a, a racist. And the only way for you to survive <laughs> is to sick your dog. Let's be all this here. You'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism. It not is. Really. <laughs> Members of their species Shut will up. always be more important to them than humans are. Shut up. You're you're the embodiment of I'm not a racist, but Give me a break. This is an alliance warship, not the parliament floor. If you're Earth first, vote for the Terra Firma party. Mm -hmm. Terra Firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. Yeah, like you. <laughs> I hope my reasons are more rational. I mean... My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly That's why. Outside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Guess you make a habit of second guessing your superiors. <laughs> I. No, ma'am. Uh. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? No. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah, I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. What's that? Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Ah, what is that? Oh, Lord. You went to the Makapag boot camp too? Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there. Kicking What's ass that? and using words like indigo <laughs> and pusillanimous. <laughs> uh, you have to work with aliens. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. Yep. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. All right. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. <laughs> I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Yeah, she's she she's definitely a bit of a racist, but I'm not saying that she. I understand why. You know what I mean? I I get it. And I hope she changes. I hope that maybe she sees reason and she'll see that, like, 
they've been helping all of us like maybe one of them is gonna betray or whatever but a human could betray us as well like it doesn't mean anything of course everybody has their own interest in mind but i don't think that thinking as a race like i understand that rex will be thinking of the krogans before a lot of other things and i as a human will be thinking of humanity before a lot of things you know like maybe our interests can can clash but that doesn't mean that you can't have allies with aliens and and that you can't trust them ever like she is way too far on the other the other side in my opinion but i guess i guess it's understandable i don't know oh she is well equipped and tally as well okay tsunami yeah tsunami could be good Toxic damage. Okay, wait a minute. I should, um... Uh-huh. Okay, that's against synthetics. I should, um... Uh, I'm so sorry. I should change my own before changing my my crew. Let me change my own stuff <clears throat> first. Tsunami 4... I like the the Avenger, to be honest. Armor piercing three, but I that's that's twenty five percent damage against synthetics. But we have better than that now. Thirty three. Right. Yeah, that's better. And then. Weapon stability, like that. After that, we have Firestorm. Uh, Katana is good, I like it. And I like the incendiary rounds as well. That's very, very cool. We could have... Shield bypass. No, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. I like incendiary. Yeah. More damage. Yeah. More. Okay, pistol, I think... Oh, that's pretty good. Stiletto. But didn't I try it and I was like, nah. No? I'm not sure. Hammerhead. Plus 25% weapons force. Okay. I could add more stability because accuracy is not very good. Apart from that, we have the striker as a sniper rifle, good against synthetics. I mean, stability and accuracy is two different things, though. That's true, I always forget. But... Ah, there we go. <clears throat> okay. 
Small amount of radioactive, toxic damage, incendiary. Toxic could be good, I think. For the grenade. Shield recovery and hardening. Ooh. Kinetic. Plus 12 shields, plus 12 the mobile accuracy. Cooldown reduction. Health regeneration and toxin resistance. Damage protection. Damn. That's all really good. I think kinetic buffer maybe could be the best. Holy shit, we have five here. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. I'm gonna be honest. That's not bad at all. Um, yeah, I didn't like the tsunami. I prefer the Avenger. This one against synthetics. And we have some weapons stability, but... Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right. We did everything, I think. So now that I... Oh, yeah, I have points as well that I forgot to put back because we loaded. Yeah, unlock hacking, please. All right. And then... AI hacking. Yeah, let's try that. So we can make them attack each other. That's pretty good. All right. Now let me equip my teams. Do you want a firestorm maybe? Would be better. Shield bypass? Would you like that? Oh shit. And then for your Kessler, you can take the five. We can put some mm, damage against organics, maybe? And then for your sniper rifle, you can have Avenger 4. If you would like, my dear sir. And then we can put some, um, I don't know, weapons force. Here we could put... Uh, plus 10% damage protection, that's pretty good. Your assault rifle is good already. Alright. We've done Rex. Now, for Garrus. Garrus, we can put you a Lancer 4. There we go. Damage against organics, would you like that? Also, we can put a, a scanner. I don't know if it really helps for them. We never know. You have a storm one. I can give you a storm four, my boy. With a bit of toxic damage, how about that? And then uh, you have a Kessler one. I can give you maybe a Stinger four. With some shield bypass, would you like? Or maybe damage against synthetics. Your sniper is bad. We'll change that to shield bypass. Maybe even Naginata, maybe? There we go. And then we can put you... This. Also, this one is better. Oh shit, you look weird! 
but that's fine. All right, we good for Garrus. Kaiden, I never bring you on. I am so sorry. I literally never do. Yeah. <laughs> Storm one, dude. Holy shit. Damage against organics, maybe, and then... Uh, edge three? Sure thing. Synthetics. And then... <clears throat> You can have a Reaper 5. That's all good. You can have... Damage protection. This one is a... Is it better though? It's not really better. Oh, this one is good, but not against... Hmm. Tech and Biotic protection. Not really. I mean, that's fine. Ashley, let's put Avenger 2. Maybe a tsunami even. Yeah, tsunami's good. Mm, this one. And maybe you can have a scanner. Scimitar, I can put a uh, katana, yeah. For organics. And then Stinger 2 is actually not that bad. More damage is what we want. Reaper 4 would be better for you. And then you have a lot of choices. Holy. Gladiator. Duelist. Hydra. What does that look like? Oh, okay. Duelist is pretty good. Mercenary. Oh, all in red is beautiful. I like it. Mercenary it is. Alrighty. I think Liara and Tally are pretty good to go. Like, I don't... Maybe I can... Lancer 3... Oh, wait, she already had a... Oh, I can change her shotgun. For something better. And then... Strikers, that's good. Avenger 4, for sure. Uh, we can give you some toxin resistance, maybe? Uh, Phoenix. Oh my god! You look amazing! Okay. So you had... You had Hydra. Okay. It does look really good too. But... Mm-hmm. My girl. Okay, I think we're good. Liara, I think you were pretty much all good to go as well. Uh, you had a good armor already, right? Kind of. But I can put... Oh, it will give her more, um... More protection against uh, Biotic, which is good because her armor doesn't have any. <laughs> so...
so <laughs> would be a good idea. Tornado. Hurricane. Maybe tornado. Okay. We're good to go. Jesus. That that takes a while. I know I'm not forced to do all that, but it's fun too. Looking for supplies? Yeah. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Now, the thing is, I can sell a lot of things. Um armor upgrade. Equalizer 4, maybe selling like when it's under three then i can sell that's pretty good Like something like that. I know I could sell more probably, but oh. okay, there are some really good stuff that I could buy. Um Okay, wait, what is my armor right now? It's a scorpion four. Okay. I don't think I can wear a medium. Yet. Nor can I wear a heavy. That's good. That's way too expensive, but holy shit, that's good too. <laughs> those are so good, but I get those on missions, to be honest. Looking for supplies? I can sell Let's more. See what you got. I can really sell so much more. But I get, yeah, I get a lot of weapon when I'm out. I've been playing for an hour and I haven't done anything. So buying them here, I don't know if it's Good really... Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission yeah. coming in from the Citadel. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the conference. Yeah. I know, I saw that earlier. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the same thing, right? Commander Shepard. We've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments. You mean Spectres tend to We attack. currently have several infiltration units scattered. What did they find? Unfortunately, considering I've your interest seen in that. Saren, we thought you might want to investigate. I'll look into it. The council. Good luck, Commander Shepard. I've looked into all of these. I am very sorry. I had to load for Liara. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get a new transmission, right? No? I don't. Okay, we have... Mm, this. Uh, while well, it's today uncovered an alien, alien alliance... I'm sorry, patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the hydro system of the Argos Row Cluster. Let's do that. Uh, 
Argos Row! There we go! Hydra! Easy! Oh lord. Oh yeah, we're living in Novaria. I should have done the... Um... I'm still not sure I want to do that. That side quest for the smuggling. You know? Commander, urgent message from Alliance mm -hmm. Command coming in. Shepard, this is... We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need? There's an alliance. What are the VIs we use to simi... Are you telling me... Rich, we need you to fight your way through the train. Can't you just... We could... I know the VI... Okay. Can rum. I mean, let's start with one and... Survey. Okay, we can't go there. What about you? We can't go there. Tyrion Insignia. Oh! Message coming in. Oh my god. Patching it through. General distress call. Sacred oh. Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. That's it. That's my mission. Argos. My assignment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Land. Uh, medical is in inhospitable and dangerous suspicion must be well prepared to survive any length of time we did i mass eat trapping oh boy i'm gonna die okay maybe i'm too early for this we'll see uh, who do i take um garris it's been a while And Kaiden. I never take Kaiden. Let's go. <laughs> you know? You know, let's give him a chance. <laughs> the only thing that I know of him is that he went too close to the beacon. And I had to push him away. And I got trapped in the beacon because of him. Basically. But he seems like a good person. He seems like a good guy. So... Got this terrain. Uh huh. Jesus. Okay. There's the down sheet. This must be the place. Careful. Got a bad feeling about this. On my way. Okay, what's this? Okay. Level 2 hazard. Okay, go back, go back, go back in the... Get into the vehicle. Jesus. Okay, that's the level hazard. Okay. I don't like it. That's, um... Alright. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh. Because we were far. Oh, come on! We good? 
Okay, there's nothing to see. That's it. Okay, wait, where? So did we... Is that it? Ow! Ah, <laughs> my legs! Uh... Mm, I don't remember what was the um, the name. This one. Right? Yeah, complete. That's it. That's all. Oh, there are other things though. I mean, let's go see. This planet is truly inhospitable, like it said. <laughs> it is true. gonna get that a Turian corpse I see okay and we also have debris here and after that that's it Woo! <laughs> that's fun let's go I don't want to die there we go Woo! no Oh my god, Grand Theft Auto style. I don't want to explode. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. <laughs> we can do it. We will reach. I believe. Oh, there we go. Right here. Jesus, this planet. It's so intense. Okay. Oh lord. Around here, maybe? Uh, uh, okay. Alright. Salvage. Yes. That's it, right? Yeah. Return to the Normandy. There we go. 
We've done our first assignment of the day after an hour of playing. We good. <laughs> I have a new... Medical interface. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Okay. After the fresher mold, the si si I'm so sorry. I, we saw all that, but Fat. because I loaded, Man. it's as if we didn't. A sorry religion. All is one. Faithful agree on the certain core truth. The universe is a consciousness. Every life within it is an aspect of the greater whole. And death is emerging in one spiritual energy back into the greater universal consci consciousness. Meld with any form of life. Stability is seen as proof that all life is fundamentally similar. Siari priestesses see the role as promoting unity between desperate shards and universe awareness. Before the rise of Siri pantheism, Siri religion was as diverse as their political opinion, the strongest survivor of those days in a monotheistic religion worshipping the goddess Atami. Interesting. Also, they think there's a light at the end, but there wasn't. Because Benizia said that. That was so dark. Terra firma party. <laughs> Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Of course. Oh. I just want to take off all the... There we go. Ugh. Feels better. Okay. Privateers. A man named Gareth asks you to look to his missing brother. Gareth fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to the privateers in a strenuous system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster. Let's go do that. Did we scan everything around here? I don't think we did this one. Oh, we didn't need to. Horse head. Huh? Local cluster? I'm not sure, I, I forgot already. There's a lot in um, Hades. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What? <sighs> Strenuous system. This citadel, right? I can zoom out. No, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I thought I could zoom out even more, but no. That's the Milky Way. So cool. Exodus. Artemis Tau, Hades Gamma, Voyager Cluster. Atikin, Armstrong, Kepler, Sentry. I'm not sure where it is, guys. I'm actually a bit lost. So maybe if I go to Hades, there's a lot of things to do here.
there's a lot of things to do in Hades Gamma. I, I just, I, I don't know where it is. Uh, maybe I just haven't found it or something. Nothing special. Matriarch riding recovered. Oh. Is it that one of my missions? Great element surveyed. Yes, deposit. Nothing special. Oh, we can land here. Trebin. Sure thing. Let's check. I do think we have a, an assignment with this place. Um, let's take... Rex and... Garrus? Sure. My two big dudes. Maybe I should have run on the the planet before choosing my squad mates, but yeah, it's fine. Medal of Exploration! There we go. Okay, my journal. This one I really don't know. Okay, this... Uh, in the hand in this system, no. Hades Gamma. Antaeus system, that's not where we are. Farinata. Maybe I'm going somewhere that I... Was that supposed to go? Oh shit. Oh well. Let's go see the anomalies anyway. <laughs> Wait, that's not the right planet. Joker make like like put us closer drop dropping us closer you know would have been nice Cover more things now that I'm like now that I have a better decryption, I think. Maybe if I wasn't an engineer, how would I? Oh, maybe if I came with oh lord, have mercy. Shit. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me! No, 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 no! Oh, Lord! No! Shit. Uh huh. Lord, 
have mercy. Research base? I mean, sure. Let's go there. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Let's repair everything. <laughs> I see, and when you're repairing, you can't use your... Um, how do you say? Boost? Securing point. Uh huh. Okay. Nobody's been here for a while. My God, you scare me, Garrus. Jesus. Malfunctioning, all right. Oh, there's a fly. Okay. We're gonna get attacked. I can't hear the music. It's stressful. Computer. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Uh huh. According to these data, logs, uh, uh, I, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Mm -hmm. Could be answers at the Wait, he looks cool with his. Uh, holy shit, he looks crazy cool. Uh, 25 points. Yes, okay. Maybe... <sighs> Eliminates... Only visible when using a assault rifle. 100% more than... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Stasis? Sure thing. And then... Throw. Shotguns. That's pretty good. For me, I can't. Alright. So... I don't know exactly. <laughs> This one. You have dedicated a survey team in Hades. Game of Cluster recently dropped out of contact. Explore excavation site. Excavation. Inside. This one. Sure thing. Let me just grab my Mako. Oh. 
this one. Oh lord. Okay. Let's go in. <laughs> oh boy. What happened here? Oh boy. Uh huh. Aliens in here, huh? Of course. Oh lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're kidding. I'm sorry. must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Fusion containment cell. Okay. Why does it look like, um... It looks like a... I like the sovereign a little crate yes thank you easy decryption there we go easy okay oh that was another Ah, uh, this one. So that's it? Really? Lord. That accounts for all the Exo Genai survey team. They were converted to the Cybernetic host by devices similar to those used by the Get on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on the frontier so far from Get there is a mystery. Yeah, no, I, I, that's what I was wondering, actually. Like. But that was all of them, it said. So we good. We don't have to be scared anymore. I see. Yeah, because the husks are made by the get usually, so I'm... I was quite surprised, I was like, okay... Gets are here, but I can't see, like... Average... Alright... We can go back home... Oof... That's 
so strange this. I don't even know what it is. Okay. We had some debris still in the uh, on this planet that we can go see. Exit the mine, yes. And then we can go to another, but I need to check the journal before I access another place. You know? Because <laughs> I keep just wandering around. And I do I do like the side quests before they are assigned to me. Like, that, <laughs> I don't think that's the right way to, uh, to do this. <laughs> oh, there's another anomaly. Okay. Okay, then. Let's go see. Kind of far. Reminds me a little bit of um, Death Stranding when I do these uh, parts. It's kind of similar. I know this game came out first, obviously, but um, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean. Is the ice trending tight beam? Signals in two geosynchronous orbit that just sort of survey teams GPS satellites because they need to crash nearby. I uh, see. Yeah. It does. Look at that. Cool. Debris and we good. <laughs> but yeah, it's that that trending style, right? Oh my god. We're dying. Can we actually break our vehicle? I'm not sure. It seems like we always get back on our feet, but... I don't know. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> oh, enemies. I see with my scanner. I spy with my little scanner. <laughs> what type of enemies, though? Scavengers. Cover me. Skill too low. Really? Shit. Electronics is too low. On hard objects, I need this. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Gonna need to come back sometime. Uh, let me check my journal first. Okay. All right, it's privateers. That's not that I couldn't find that one. Uh, oh yeah, Helena Blake. Yeah, remember that mission? Yep. Hades Gamma Cluster have kidnapped the chairman of the Department Subcommittee of Transhuman Studies. Are holed up in a derelict freighter in the Farinada. We can go to Farinada. Let's go to Farinada system. Uh, to save the hostage. Zoom out from here. I'm not sure. Yeah. This? Okay, this also is uh, one of the, um, the missions. Farinata. Sure. Only main missions today, guys, I think. That's what we're gonna do. Nothing to do here. Board there? Wait, I wanna see. Uh, maybe Ashley and I 
Liara? Oh, there's a lot of enemies. I think I can... Yeah, I can put some points for her. go oh and you too all right i think there's a little bit of a delay i'm sorry guys that happens after about an hour of playing okay um i'm gonna have a lot of money right what kind of enemies biotic terror te terrorist let me see my uh, in my equipment that's for oh I'm so sorry Damage against synthetics. I think my pistol is for humans. Oh, not necessarily. Hmm. So which one then? That's also synthetics. I thought I had against organics. But I don't. Huh. Okay then. I think I should have my. Oh shit! We have a time. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh shit, I don't have any- Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, 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 we're dying! Uh, overload. Ooh! Alright! Oh lord. Okay. Now let's go. Let's go around here. Try to uh, salvage everything we can. We have two minutes! Creo, okay. We don't have a lot of time, guys. Let's go, let's go. That's it. We have nothing else. I guess we have nothing else. Okay, all right. Huh? Oh, Lord. Oh lord, I'm lost. Wait. Oh lord. 
Chairman. Chairman! Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Oh my god. Wait, where? Oh my god, we're never gonna make it. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. Chairman, chairman, chairman. Hello? Hello, hello? Go on. Here. Oh, there we go. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the Your chairman life? here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. Oh. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Nice. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Oh my god. When there's a timer, I'm so stressed. Dude. Literally cannot handle. Oh! There's another one here. I'm taking everything! Thank you! <laughs> oh. We done did it. We also we almost didn't, but we did. We're fine now. <laughs> oh, that was stressful. I was like, wait, where? <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh huh. Okay. Now I can get out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Almost left the hostage there. I should... Yeah. Oh, but I need... Wait, I need electronics. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. Apart from this, we have... We can go to this. To eliminate crime lords, we can...
do the VI. Okay. Let me do the this system one to eliminate crime loads. Oh my god. Patch it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, oh, yeah. Commander. Mm -hmm. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Uh, maybe I can just survey. Yeah. Yeah. Since we have s stuff we can... Um, recover. And that's part of some assignments. Also gives me XP, I think. I'm not sure, but... Okay, Farinata. This is here, right? Yes. Let's go there. We can eliminate the crime lord. The other one is in the Han system, but it's not in the Hades Gamma, right? I'm sorry you guys, I'm, I feel like this might be boring for you, I hope it's not. Cleanse all. Tin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and eat... eat, eat eating... Average level of weld, la la... So it's human, mostly. So I think Ashley and... An all, an all human squad, I think. So cool. Phew! Alrighty. Oh, I can upgrade a lot of you. Good lord. Uh-huh. Oh, you can just stay at the same place and it still works. I have never noticed that before. There we go. Oh, and Ashley, I'm sorry. Ashley as well. Um... Map. There we go. Let's go. Kaden, Kaiden, Kaden. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I hope it's not boring for you guys. Like this, this type of episode is not as uh, eventful, I guess. Like, well, the combat is really fun, but it it doesn't like progress the main story much. I'm sorry. Enemies ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Right here. You know what? That was so fucking easy. What the hell? All right. Oh. What the fuck? My dude. What 
we go in. Oh lord. Crime lord incoming. <laughs> Cause I'm the crime lord, okay. <laughs> That's pretty similar to the other one. The other mine, I mean. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. The fuck? Don't need shield boost. Okay, that's not doing anything. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Where? Oh. Defeated! Helena was right, these guys are quite the operation going, but that's all going to change one down, just one more to go. Alright. Oh, I have a call, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay! Alright! My god, it was not that easy, eh? I, uh... I'm not sure, I like my pistol. It's slow. It's really slow. My god, so much money incoming. Very good weapons as well. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. 
There's nothing more, nothing less. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why. That. Oh, cause I did. I did a. Uh, I aimed by mistake. I didn't mean to. Okay. That's it. That's all. There's other things to do on this planet, though. I think there was some debris, maybe, and an anomaly, I think. And then I, maybe I should stop playing. Maybe. Wait, so... Yeah, but that's it, right? I did all the... Hmm? Why is it still... Uh -huh. Why is it still, like... With an exclamation mark? I'm wondering... Mummified Celerian. Medallion. That's kind of sad. for the 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 next breaking <laughs> I'm sorry Wait what? Okay. Take out those hostiles. Wait what? What hostiles? There is no hostiles. What do you mean? <laughs> oh! Okay. That's not bad. Alright! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I think we did everything. Yeah, so we can go back to the Normandy. And we can do it to the Han system. Somewhere, I need I need to um I need to change a couple of things around. Thunder, feel the thunder, lightning and thunder. Like maybe that's better. Let's try it out. No, I can't. Shit. Fuck. I need to sell. I really do. I have a lot of stuff now. <laughs> Let me see. I like the katana, actually. I do. Stiletto, I'm not a big fan. I'm gonna be honest. The edge is actually better, I feel like. I know it doesn't do as much damage, but I'm just not a big fan of how it's it's too slow, you know? Oh, Striker 5, yes, please. Aha, that's better. 
toxic or just more damage, <laughs> I think. Uh, right now I have kinetic buffer. No, that's fine. I think that's fine, yeah. But I could change a couple of things for my people, though. Like Stinger... Would you prefer... The fifth? <laughs> and then... Hammer five is good, though. Avenger 3. I can put something better than that for you, babe. Tornado 5. Stinger 5. Okay, that's good. For Tally... You have a Lancer 3. I can give you a Raptor 5. And then uh, we have Scimitar 5, Striker versus an Edge. I think Edge 5 you would appreciate. Avenger 4 is okay. Phoenix 2, alright. Rex, you're pretty well equipped, I gotta say. Oh, I could give you more um, stuff here, maybe. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you're well equipped apart from that. Lancer, okay. Storm, five. A little bit of an upgrade for you. Edge, three. We, can, we can give you something better than that. Come on. Reaper, five. Tsunami, four. I can give you a tsunami, five. Storm, five edge. I think I gave my edge fives. Yeah, I gave all of them. That's fine. And Ashley, I can give you Well, you're pretty well equipped already. Reaper? No. No, that's that's good, I think. All right. For me, the Thunder is quite good, Thunder 5. I don't hate it. Yeah, I like I like what Looking I got. For supplies? Let's see what you, you got. Bet. Let me sell you some stuff. Um, yeah. And then Benshi. Who really cares? I guess. Oh. Uh. Let's sell a couple of things. <laughs> that we have too much of, like... Way too much. I have so much money, like, I don't... I can't even... Like, I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, 
That's crazy. I know I can do Mark as junk. I should probably do that. And then I wouldn't have to go all through them like this. But... I kind of like it. Okay. Now, we can... Master Gear for a Spectre. Uh-huh. Which one do we want, guys? Do we want the sniper rifle, the shotgun, the assault? Probably assault rifle, right? And pistol. Assault. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh Yeah. Damage versus organics, please. Yes. I can put three. You're kidding. Oh my god. So against humans, we can use our assault rifle. Against synthetics, we can use... The sniper, I'm so sorry, I did not mean to do that. Or... I think my pistol? No? I could, but that's really good though. What's that? No, oh, yeah. Okay. Damn. Can't wait to try it out. Spectre gear. Very exciting. I should stop here, guys. I should really stop here, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. I know I wanted to do... Ah, see. I wanted to do... Okay, so we still have this one, which I can't find. This one, that we can finish. We have this. This one is almost done, this one is almost done, and these are just things that you find in the world. We still have so many assignments we could do out in, in, in the world. Um, but I kind of want to go back to the Citadel to finish all of those, you know? But to do that, I guess, I guess I should finish all the side quests that I can that have a link to someone in the citadel, and then when I go back to the citadel, I can just finish those off like easy XP, easy equipment. You know what I, what I mean? Like we're we're getting there. We're getting there. But I'm gonna end it here. I I hope you guys liked it, even though it wasn't any main story. Maybe I could do Pharaohs next episode and then continue the side quests for the next one so that we we have like one episode with main stuff and then one episode with side stuff because i feel like it's a bit more boring for you guys to just watch me go around like and do side assignments and stuff like that so i don't want to bore anybody here but um had a lot of fun we actually didn't die today i think right 
I'm just saying, we didn't die today. <laughs> I'm pretty proud, but um, yeah, that was super fun. We'll do Pharaoh's next uh, episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!